What is going on, everybody? My name is Jay. This is Unplayable. I'm here with Mike, and we are on episode two, basically, video two of our series, Can It Be Sabine? Now, I'm the one that's having to try and defeat the Sabine, and I decided to go with a controlly kind of late game, try to draw the game out, Iden deck, since no one on the channel has played Iden yet before either, so I figured it would be a great time to showcase it and see if we can get past this behemoth called Sabine, because she's just so freaking good. I chose to go with green because green had a lot of good controlly options along with ambush units like callus plus you get super laser tech to be able to try and get i didn't out a turn earlier plus you have overwhelming barrage which feels like it's probably a good card against sabine since it could target multiple units so the idea was kind of like entrench one of my guys and then overwhelming barrage to try to wipe their board before they even get to use their characters for that round and save some value so that's what i was trying to do will it work we'll, we'll find see. out <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and roll the playback roll the footage yeah. coach we'll roll, roll the tape roll the tape uh you had drawn your i think you drew like four starting hands and yeah now had we're to restart. Real starting hands <laughs> perfect so we roll off Obviously, Mike wins. If we're playing Lorcana, I win the roll every time. If we're if we're playing uh, Swu, then you roll won the roll every single time. You know what we're gonna start doing? We're gonna start bench pressing. Whoever can do the most bench press is gonna get to go first. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So what we got here, Coach? Let's pause it for the folks at home. Yeah. Let's take so, a look at these starting hands. Yeah. All right. So you got Cantina Bragger, Spec Four Soldier, Red Three. Leia, Millennium Falcon, and Sabine. So what are you thinking going up against Aiden? What are you thinking you need to do? I'm thinking I need to burn you down as fast as possible because if I let you get to late game, you're going to start healing. You're going to start dropping threats that I can't get around. You're going to start overwhelming barrage and wiping my board. So I just want to come how's out that, hard and fast. How's that any different than <laughs> any other matchup, though? <laughs> uh, I think it's just extra important to, like, come out the Went gate fast. fast. Yeah. Because especially against control, you can't you can't let them regain the momentum. For sure. All right. So uh, what are we inking here? We're probably going double double one coster here. Yeah, I think. 2-1 cost is is what I like to do in Sabine, at least. Next turn, I don't, I don't play know. Falcon. Yeah, yeah, turn 2, Falcon, maybe turn 2, red 3 would be okay. But Fal Falcon probably can get more damage in over the course mm -hmm. of the game, especially if you keep it out. So probably am resourcing Leia and... Well, okay, I actually think what I do... I think I resource the Cantina Bragger and maybe Sabine... And this way I can play Leia and Spec Force Soldier. And then Red 3 can come down and buff both of them. Mm, yeah. And I can hit you for six. So I think that's what I do here. That's, that's If I good. don't do that, I do Cantina Bragger and Spec Force Soldier. I can only hit you for five if I play Red 3. If I play Millennium Falcon, though. You'd be able to hit for more. Be able to hit for more in either scenario. But he comes in ready, so I can do that on turn three. I don't know. I, I think that's what I end up doing. How, what, what about you over there? I'm looking at this hand. I'm thinking... It's kind of trash, but I'm going to roll with it because <laughs> I at least have a two cost. So obviously I'm playing this pursuer turn one to get that out there. And if you play something that has one health, which I don't even know if you have anything in that deck that has one health, then it's really good for me. If not, yeah, at least I have a, a, a great unit on on board. I can take out one of your raid characters or something like that and then have value to go in on something something else if i need to definitely keeping super laser tech because that's just great value for me oh you have a lot of two health characters that are cheap in this deck to be able to take out i'm probably keeping takedown so i could take down sabine on turn three and avenger nine cost ain't getting to that anytime soon nope the question is do i keep callus or do i keep overwhelming barrage I think I end up resourcing Callus because Overwhelming Barrage does so much work on turn five if I can make it pop off. So For sure. And you, you have super laser tech as well, so you can ramp to Aiden and you can mm -hmm. like flip her and, and then, Overwhelming Barrage with her if you need to. So yeah. you know, like you're almost guaranteed to have at least something with six power to be able to, to or yeah, six damage that you can spread on yep. turn four because you're, you're going to ramp. So... Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Plus, plus, Iden gets to 
make use of the plus two immediately. Right. And every time one of my units dies to the overwhelming barrage, you get to heal one. So yep. definitely got some game there. So let's see what, what happens here. All right. So let's see if we indeed do what we just said we were going to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what'd you ink? What'd you resource, I mean? I resourced the Cantina Braggart and Sabine. Okay, so you're going the Leia into Spec Force, Force Soldier. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So I, if I don't play Red 3, then I don't know if this is quite as good. I think it's still fine, because you still get the Falcon next turn. You get two 2-2s two versus like a 2-2 two two and a 0-3 with Raid 2. I don't... I don't know if I'd rather have a 0-3 with Raid 2 or a 2-2. Two, two. I, th I think in this scenario, it doesn't matter because you only have one power to put on the board this turn. Mm -hmm. But if you had like a 2-3 or something, it'd be better to play the other thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I Avenger, went with Avenger course. first <laughs> and then I'm debating on Callus or Overwhelming Barrage. Oh, you want you want with Overwhelming Barrage? Oh, I'm trash. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> thinking back, you, you would have... Resource I would have went Callus for sure. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Uh, I think overwhelming barrage is just so good against this deck. It's it's one of the only ways that you can like come back from that far behind. I think. Yeah. So I get initiative here at least. Yep. And you do your pings, and we go to the next round. Uh, let's see what we draw. You got a wing leader, a rogue operative. I got emperor's royal guard and a tie advanced. I yeah. immediately resourced the Royal Guard because I didn't have any officials in hand or on the board. Yep. So I was like, I'm not going to get sent <laughs> off of this. I'd rather play Super Laser Tech this turn anyway. You went with the, what was it called? This is the Rogue Operative. Yeah. I often resource that card. Yeah. I don't play that card very often. It, it is good sometimes. Having four health is really nice, but... Having all three of these space units, I feel like, gives me a bit more flexibility, and they all do something a little bit more exciting than just be a 2-4 raid, too. Yep. So I'm actually now rethinking putting this Pursuer in deck at all. Unless I unless I draw into, like, Death Trooper, then it's really hard to get benefit off of yeah. this character. I wonder if... if I, I don't know if you put it in there, but the, uh, the Snow Trooper Lieutenant that lets you attack with an imperial unit mm -hmm. for plus two yeah, yeah. That, would, that would be a good combo with that so uh, uh i'm actually debating here if i ambush in the super laser tech to take out your leia with my conservation uh lab and then immediately get that resource but i don't have a one cost in hand to take take make use of it sure um so i was like eh, i don't know if it's worth doing that right now i could just take her out next turn and get the resource it does, it does save you three damage if you did it this it turn. It does save me some damage. I didn't see the red three, so sure. maybe then I would do it. I don't know. Uh, but I don't, ultimately. I figured I'd save it. I still got plenty of time before the game's over. Yeah. So I saved it. I swing in with my Pursuer because now, whatever reason, if you decided to swing in with Specful Soldier, then I'd be able to defeat it. Also, mm -hmm. I can now defeat one of your things next turn if I need to. I think I, I think I do swing in with Spec Force Soldier this turn, but I jet a city your unit first. Mm, yeah, you do. So that, but I, I did make out. you get rid of the jet city. Yeah. So I yep. guess get rid of jet city and I I lose three damage. I now wonder if that was even worth it, but maybe it was. We yeah, should I have one? just gone face here? Yeah. I don't know. It's <laughs> a good question. You you have to trade back. Well. Yeah, I don't know. I guess if I, it's probably if I good. don't do this, the next turn you get to take out both of my ground units. Mm -hmm. And, and heal one. Bad. Yeah. All right, we draw. I get cell block guard, and I got something else. I didn't even see. It, yeah, it was, it was another callus. Another callus. So that's an easy resource. You got wing yeah. leader again, and what? I, I got Leia and um, uh -huh. the two three saboteur two two cost. Okay. Yep, I immediately use Super Laser Tech to get rid of your Spec Force Soldier. I'm kind of... Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I wonder, like, do you ever tie Advanced and buff your Super Laser Tech and then ambush in and kill Red 3? I could kind have. Play. I think in my head I was like, I need to save takedown for Sabine and just get rid oh, of her right, when she right. comes out. So you didn't want to spend the resources this turn. That makes sense. But, I mean buffing him there and then no because i want to get the resource 
and what would, and if what, what I would buff he, him, true wait well if you buff him he would be plus two plus two he doesn't take any damage so he'd be a four three you could take out leia without dying and then next turn you could like trade into something yeah and still be able to play Aiden because I don't think you get to take advantage of oh I guess the you, you could play Kallus this turn if you wanted to but if you're going to take down anyway then it doesn't matter so yeah I mean it might have been that might have been the play there is to ambush and take care of red three immediately if you if Kallus had one extra and could ambush and defeat Sabine then that would be the better play but he's only for sure. four attack which kind of stinks if I'm paying five for something with ambush I kind of want it to be able to take anything out you know yeah yeah <laughs> uh yep so you bring in sabine immediately dies <laughs> gotta take it down i mean that you get so much value off sabine if you if yeah you yeah if it's sticks, it sticks there. around it's pretty pretty good when millennium falcon comes down here there's yeah that, 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 that was wing leader but that was brutal yeah uh, falcon's so such high value for an aggro deck being it's able so to good. swing in to base the turn it yeah. comes out is just nuts mm hmm and you're, you're like so low to the ground in terms of your resource costs that you don't really care about spending an extra resource to keep it around. Yeah, agreed. Uh, yeah, so I'm already at 14. I did get to do my heal, but that didn't matter that much. But I'm at six. I can bring Aiden out. So maybe I can start bringing this back. I've got a repair in hand to heal. I've got mm -hmm. Aiden coming out this turn so I can use Callus to take something out if I want. Uh, but unfortunately, I decided to ink Callus. <laughs> or research cows. I think what I'm thinking here is I'm at six. I'm gonna want to be able to play the maybe like I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking there. Hmm. I think I oh I was definitely gonna tie advance ambush and take something out. But yeah. then I showed my hand and right. you wing leadered. So you'll see that in just a minute. Yeah. Right here I'm trying to decide what I do. Because if I play tie advance now, I have nothing to target with the extra resource or extra experience. Mm -hmm. So I kind of need to either play an Imperial, which would be either the scout bike pursuer or the cell block guard, or I bring out Aiden. Mm -hmm. Did I already reveal the tie advance to you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, uh, I'm, oh, I'm yeah. going I think back you do and it forth. Now. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe you don't. I, I definitely show it here. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, I, I think I think either way, I'm playing wing leader and buffing the red three because my thought process is like I'm always playing wing leader this turn because my, my plan is to play Leia and wing leader and buffing Leia doesn't actually really, like do that much and I can't buff Millennium Falcon. So the play is probably play wing leader on red three. It, maybe it happens in a different order if I do it this way, but I feel like Leia's pretty safe until you bring Aiden out anyway. I mean, you don't have much to play right here. You're at five. I mean, you yeah. could go K2, but it's better to just go wing leader Leia when I defeat your Leia. Yeah. Like, I could, if my Leia dies for some reason, I could like Leia and K2, but I feel like wing leader is just better and lets me push more damage. Mm -hmm. So now I have to pivot and I end up going cell block guard and repair. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. Here comes the wing leader, buffs the red three. So now I cannot do the ambush play I wanted. So I end up just going like cell block guard or something. I think the game is pretty rough at this point. Oh, I just bring out Aiden. I probably bring out cell block guard here instead so that yeah, you can't go face. So I can't get the extra three damage in. Yeah wrong way <laughs> yeah so, i definitely should have brought in cell block guard yeah because i have i have lethal on board right now i think uh no but i'm close wait do i have four five six seven eight yeah i definitely i i do I have nine yeah damage. i think i just lose yeah you, oh you i can, have repair, repair. I have repair. yeah you can repair and play cell block guard but i also heal one I from I just Aiden there you did what i heal one from Aiden right there oh yep for sure Yeah, you I have to re repair. And then cell block guard will come down after you attack. Not that it matters. You're all you space. Claim, right? I probably should. But I think I'm also like, I don't win this game anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, th 
I feel I like I was you... gonna play it and oh, then no, I decided yeah, to claim. Yeah, because if you draw a uh, even if you draw an overwhelming barrage, it's it's not enough. It's not enough to kill. Yeah, everything. I just draw and see what I get, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, Avenger, Death Trooper. <laughs> never get never get into that uh to that Avenger. Not in a million years <laughs> against Sabine. Not against Sabine, no. So that's the game one. Yep. All right. So it was not super close for Aiden in that game. No. With Sabine, I was able to make a board that was too wide for you to deal with. I think if you hadn't resourced the overwhelming barrage, it would have been a little bit closer. Yeah. But by the time you would have been able to play that, you would have been able to deal a maximum of six damage. And I had well more than six health uh, mm -hmm. on the board. So it would have been an interesting decision for sure what to what to kill. Yeah. Scout bite pursuer is kind of trash in this too, unless I get the, the perfect. Yeah, I wasn't for I wasn't very scared of it for sure. Oh, this the, is this it, one's a fun one. This game's fun, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to mulligan this hand as a spoiler alert. I guess I could play like Rebel Pathfinder as my turn one play and then play I don't know, Red Three or Ezra turn two, but that just doesn't feel like enough damage. Yeah, it feels like kind of a slow, slow hand. And then yeah. you just draw into so. gas. <laughs> Absolute gas. So this was the wild hand it was like either do i play one a wing and one you know like one a wing and then millennium falcon and then more a wings and then and that two was a -wings. route i went because <laughs> i can't play the two spec four soldiers together anyway so mm -hmm. but then you play regional <laughs> governor a wing <laughs> <laughs> a wing i mean that's all that's the card you say against me like every time right hilarious <laughs> all right yeah uh, so you go sabine yep because i literally can't do anything else <laughs> all right so we're moving to the next round yeah antina braggart and another falcon i'm just i'm resourcing my a wings now i'm just resigned yeah. to the fact that i'm never playing them can't play them <laughs> The so, regional this is governor a, is never dying. This is a great start for me. You, you played nothing round one. Yeah, I've got regional governor out and overwhelming barrage spec, uh, super laser tech in hand. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to ramp up and start doing things. Yeah, so ruining my day. And there's Falcon. <laughs> Falcon's so good. <laughs> so you're able to go face for three. And I do, I did keep overwhelming barrage this game. I was like, yeah, let's go. And mm -hmm. then I kept entrenched because I was entrenched like, is pretty good. But if I entrench the regional governor, you're literally never playing A Wings this game. <laughs> yeah, true. Very true. <laughs> but you have nothing on ground. So yeah, nothing in ground. And then entrenched is not good on Falcon because I can just return it to my hand. Exactly. Hang on, what did I resource there? Uh, uh you just resource to repair. Looks yep. like I'm resourcing a second Falcon. I don't feel like I need to. Oh, I did not forget to pay for it. I thought you I forgot for to pay it for it. Maybe pay next round it. is when I forget to pay for it. There's definitely <laughs> a round where I forget to pay for it. <laughs> um, so I've got Scout Bike Pursuer, Tie Advanced, Entrench, and Overwhelming Barrage. It's unfortunate that like Entrench would be really good right now if it wasn't Falcon. Like anything yeah. else, it would be super good. But Falcon's just bust. So yeah, Falcon's rip. a beast. So I'm just going face. You're going face. You're out racing me because you have better units. I don't get to de defeat Super Laser Tech because you have no ground units. So I I also misplayed here because I should have put the experience on the governor before I attacked. Oh, sure. It probably won't matter in the end, but... Like the you're... reason I didn't put it on super laser tech is because I want him to be able to de be defeated if you play a ground unit here. And I know you're not going to play a space unit because yeah. you have you can't play A-Wings and you can't play another Falcon. Yeah. So it's like you're going to flip Sabine at some point. Yeah, and if you buffed him, he wouldn't be able to, ki to kill himself when no. he attacked into Sabine. So you give super laser tech minus four. Makes sense. Yeah, it's mostly because I don't want you to be able to attack into Sabine with your regional governor next turn mm -hmm. and kill it. So I do get the super laser tech defeated for me. So that means next turn I'll be able to bring out Aiden. I can heal one here if I want. 
you do have the extra value off of fleet lieutenant which is really good mm -hmm. uh, i guess i opted not oh wait i don't get the heal i didn't kill one of your guys so i i didn't defeat anything oh, that yeah. turn so Iden's not doing very much work for me at at the moment yeah not, but, not not quite yet but now you're on six resources and you got overwhelming barrage in hand and entrenched yep which i guess doesn't matter this round but i'm trying to decide what the resource here death trooper or scout bike pursuer right i think that's what i end up doing i feel like that's the one you lauren i don't know lauren, what, okay well i don't have any greens that are really gonna do much i have more blues in hand so i was like mm -hmm. he's not gonna provide me that much value so i'll just if i go scout bike pursuer into death trooper that's better than you lauren I, okay i can see that you want the combo of them together so that you can deal one damage to i don't go to overwhelming barrage bike, if i hold yeah, on if i Wait. if i overwhelming barrage here yeah the max i can get is five damage so that would take out sabine yeah but instead i ambush in and just defeat sabine with death trooper yeah which is a cool play Maybe you're figuring you can overwhelming barrage next turn. I probably like, yeah. Maybe you entrench something this turn and then you overwhelming barrage the thing that you entrenched. Maybe that's the move. Yeah. So I go death trooper to take out Sabine before she can swing. I entrench something and then next turn go overwhelming barrage for whatever you've played. Do I play Spark of Rebellion here? No. I don't think I do. I'm considering it. It's like, I know you probably have. I, uh, maybe at this point, I think you don't have it because <laughs> you had the resources to play and you didn't. Yeah, that's probably true. I think regional governor gets entrenched. I wonder. I wonder if it's worth putting. No, oh, it's okay, that guy gets it. so I could take out your falcon. Yeah, I wonder if it's worth putting that on Iden because it's like one extra damage for overwhelming barrage. But I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. But I mm -hmm. wanted to get rid of falcon, so. Yeah, understandable. Falcon's crazy. I'm Was not this feeling terrible. For, pay for Falcon? Or, no, I looked like I paid for it. Okay, huh. so one thing I did mess up here is I, if I had Iden out, I healed two. But now I oh. only get to heal one. Mm -hmm. Because I took out two units before I flipped her. So I don't know if True. one value matters. I mean, it, it could matter. Like, it, it's definitely a missed line, but... I healed two right there, and I should not have healed two. Hmm. I think I... Yeah, I think I accidentally healed two. Did you? I, mean, I, I think, think you I was 19. at 20. No, you were 19. Oh, okay. Yeah. You just clicked it twice, and then... Oh, you, you clicked up to 20 on accident. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to... Trying to build enough pressure to be able to close out the game next turn. You got a lot of stuff it's getting a little scary here for me. Like you're almost at the point of of being able to come back because now you know you're healing. Uh, you should have healed off that if you didn't actually. Braggart was actually really bad play there because I don't lose the shield and I get the heal value. Yeah, but I think I, you forgot to heal. I forgot to heal. Trash. I wonder if that'll matter. <laughs> don't don't forget your triggers, people. It's Not forget very hard to do. Oh, I'm getting it. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, I'm taking damage from you. Yeah, I forgot to heal there, I guess. Oh, well. If you um, lose my one, we can trash. put a big asterisk on this game. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to play Overwhelming Barrage here, and I at least have a decent target with Ty Advanced at what? He's at what, six? Plus two is eight. Yeah. So I yeah, have can eight damage to spread Angela. out. Yeah. And then one um, to that guy. I could have played Spark of Rebellion first, but I didn't want you to take out Ezra with Aiden. I think that was still better to just attack with Ezra and get the damage in. Yeah, it's it may have been. I don't get to swing with Ty Advance and get the eight damage in, which is a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> so I almost wonder if I should have went Aiden. It would have been six and take out the two three healths and then keep the four health on board mm -hmm. and then i'd be able to swing for eight i don't know maybe not i think i i, I think it's 
yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not a damage race for you at this point. With like, I'm, I'm, I still have 13 health left. Yeah. So I think I'm relatively safe here, and I, I have the ability to, to drop three more characters this turn or three more units. Yeah. And if I draw into any amount of damage out of hand, then I'm I'm happy. Uh, again, noting that this game we were playing before four cause was revealed, so yeah, that would have definitely made a big difference. A big difference in the decision making. So it means even harder. It's, he, it's going to be even harder to win this challenge, <laughs> is what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> it felt. It, I didn't felt like she was doing some cool things. It just isn't enough. Not even close. Like, even this game, you literally couldn't play anything turn one. Yep. You had to resource all your A-Wings, and I still didn't feel like it was close. I think, I think I'm think i deciding right now if I take initiative or play Spec 4 Soldier. So if I take initiative, then I can use Spec 4 Soldier to remove mm -hmm. uh, Sentinel from anything that you play. So oh, it looks okay, like we wow. got the next round. I, oh, th I think... Is, is this... Th this is probably the game where it, it sort of ends a bit unceremoniously. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we'll we'll talk about when we get there. <laughs> I'm trash, basically. <laughs> this game did feel like the like I had a pretty big board presence at this yeah. point. So maybe if I can keep if I can stay alive, keep defeating your stuff, then heal and swing in for a bunch. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, yeah, this is close ish. But that's with like the perfect starting opening and me. me not playing a turn one turn one right turn. <laughs> and i still didn't win spoiler okay, so right. i immediately surprise strike yeah for one two three four five i just want to make sure that i'm going to be able to actually 24. get that to fire so i have to kill something so i can heal so i yep. swing in and kill your rebel pathfinder heal one which is not bad mm -hmm. get another guy on board and then you I'm do your sabine ability Yep, threaten to put you to one. And so I think I just start swinging. You're, you're going to kill that guy so you can heal one more. Yep. And then I think I just chill. Maybe I play Spec 4 Soldier. No, because you can't, right? Oh, yeah, maybe you do. I get out my Royal Guard. I've spent all my resources for the turn. I have a big board. I have an official out with the Regional Governor. I'm... So if you play anything on the ground, he can't even swing in. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I might be able to swing this. Might be able to heal and get this game. It's so, it's so close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, do I play Falcon here now? And it's like, no, I can't because you can just. I just swing in with the tie bands. Yep. And then heal. I think I play Spec Force Soldier. Or maybe I pass until you're done hitting me, and then I play Spec Force Soldier. I think that's, that's what I do. It. I don't think you... Actually, I think you probably... Yeah. You probably do. I think you keep Spec Force Soldier because I have a Sentinel now. Until you're able to, like, actually benefit from it. Because you don't have anything on the ground anyway. I, I so. just wanted to make sure that, like... So if I play Spec Force Soldier... Yeah, I guess it's weird because if I play Spec 4 Soldier and you pass and I claim, I get to go first, but your Royal Guard mm -hmm. like regains Sentinel. Mm -hmm. So I'm in a bad spot. I, I would need some way to punch through that. And I don't have Precision Fire in this version of the deck. No, nah, you play it. But I do play it, hoping that you'll claim, <laughs> which you nah, did. And then I get to play issue. Falcon and kill you with Falcon. Uh funny game <laughs> so funny that, game no that, that, that was more of a, of a like juke than a just raw like win i guess because if if i hadn't played that and you pass like if you don't claim there and you pass i think i have to claim maybe and then if i do i i don't know what i'm gonna draw my next two cards I, I might actually draw them at the end here just to see what they would have been but it would have been much harder for me to win. That, that was a game two of can it beat Sabine and the answer is still no. <laughs> would you, how'd you feel about the deck overall? Are there like, did, did you enjoy playing Aiden? We already talked about some of the things that you might've changed with like the scout bike pursuer and stuff like that. 
I think she's really cool, and I think that blue green villain has some cool control y elements to it. It just feels like it's missing, which obviously we've only seen half the card pool, so sure. Obvious it's definitely not got all of its pieces, but it feels like it's missing stuff. Fair like enough. there's really cool plays with tie advance, overwhelming barrage, entrenched, and all that kind of crap, but you need we need something more to be able to sustain against some hyper aggro like this. Yeah, yeah. Some some kind of mid-range costed event that allows you to i mean if there, if there was an event like uh open fire costs three and deals four damage right mm -hmm. if there was a card that like cost four and dealt like two damage to two different characters or something like that or two different yeah. units like something like that that lets you do a little bit more aoe a little bit sooner than overwhelming barrage and maybe in some different colors would be would be nice yeah Agreed. But that was it. That was my try. And we got a couple more tries that we've recorded. And we're going to keep trying until somebody beats Sabine. <laughs> but Sabine is 4-0 so far. So stay tuned and look out for the next videos. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you all in the next one. Bye.